Hello and welcome to a brief lesson on how to install the Raven SmartTrax MD Mechanical Steering System. Not only is it the simplest steering system install on the market, but you'll enjoy the benefits of twice the torque, faster rotation, and more helpful diagnostics than previous Raven Mechanical Steering Solutions. This video will guide you through the basic installation of the system. Your installation experience will most likely differ slightly from this demo, but the basics should all be the same. Now, before installing anything, you'll want to ensure you have a software version on your field computer of at least what we have shown on the screen. If not, you'll want to hold off on your MD install until your field computer is updated, or the steering system just won't work. Next, we'll take a look at the two kits you'll be working with. First is the install kit. It contains a spline adapter, ring gear, anti-rotation bracket, and a few other parts we'll need for mounting the MD. Next, we have the SmartTrax MD kit. This kit contains the actual mechanical drive, the SmartTrax node, a foot switch, and the cable which connects the node to the MD. Before installing other hardware, you'll most likely want to install your cable so that it will reach both your node and the MDU. And this installation will vary by machine. Our first step is to mount the SmartTrax node. This node should be mounted in your cab. We need to make sure that it sits parallel and perpendicular to the floor and is firmly attached in order for it to function properly. We also need to make special note of what number on the node is pointing toward the front of the cab. This is a very key piece of information and if we have it wrong, our steering system just won't perform well. So let's get it right. Now that the node is installed, we can move on to the steering column and remove the steering wheel. The steps you see here are relatively common, but your steering column may come apart slightly different. Just make sure we don't lose anything that we remove, as we will need it later. In this next step, we will install the spline adapter and ring gear. To do so, place the bottom spline adapter onto the steering column. Next, we place the ring gear onto the steering column, followed by a nut to hold things in place. And then we tighten that up. You can see a telescope adapter being installed here, which may or not be needed on your machine. And finally, we add the top spline adapter and insert the six screws to hold everything in place. Tighten the screws just like you would changing a tire. And then work your way around to tighten them all up. Now that we have the ring gear and spline adapter in place, we can reinstall the steering wheel. Note that we want the steering wheel spokes to line up with the spokes on the ring gear as closely as we can. With the ring gear and steering wheel in place, it's time to install the anti-rotation bracket. This bracket keeps the MDU anchored so that it can turn the wheel. Start by assembling the U and L bracket as shown here. Just be sure to only finger tighten the nuts as they may need to be adjusted during the installation. Next, we'll attach the strap clamps around the steering column and to the anti-rotation bracket. This will hold the bracket firmly in place around the steering column. After both strap clamps are installed, you can tighten up all of the hardware on the bracket. And for our final piece of the bracket, we'll install the flange bearing. This mounts off to the side and will hold the anti-rotation pin attached to the MDU. The flange should be able to move freely. The final piece of hardware that we need to install is the mechanical drive, which slips over the ring gear and locks into place. Before placing the mechanical drive, we'll need to install the anti-rotation pin in the bottom of the mechanical drive. The pin can be placed on either side of the drive depending on what your installation requires. Once the pin has been installed, slide the collar of the mechanical drive over the ring gear, making sure that the anti-rotation pin fits into the flange bearing, and then slide the mechanical drive over the ring gear as shown here. Once the hardware installation is complete, you can move on to calibrating the steering system. From the made field computer screen, a Raven Invisio Pro 2 is shown here, 
select settings, and then press the steering icon. Next, select the correct machine type followed by the steering device. The following step is where we select what node number is pointing towards the front of the cab. Make sure you enter in the correct number. After that is a quick check to make sure your foot pedal is operational. Next up we have our steering position sensor calibration. All you have to do is turn the wheel all the way to the left and press set and repeat the process to the right. Next we'll enter in the distance to our GPS antenna from the rear axle followed by the height of the antenna to the ground. After that we'll take care of our 3D calibration by following the on-screen directions. With the 3D calibration complete, the final step is a quick steering test to complete the calibration. The machine will steer itself during this time and it only takes a minute to complete. In closing, we hope this brief video has shown you how simply and quickly a Raven SmartTrax MD system can be installed. As always, check with your local Raven dealer with any questions to make sure you order the correct kits. Thanks and happy steering! Now this tutorial is only going to come...